I would just preface this with saying that I am not a vet. If you have any questions or concerns or doubts, please take your snake to a local exotic vet before attempting to help your snake shed at all. I only trust myself to do this because this particular snake is very docile and trusts me a lot with touching his head and I understand his behaviors well enough to know if what I'm doing is significantly bothering him. Shedding their eye caps is very, very important. Failure to do so correctly can result in damage to their eyes and sometimes even blindness, so please be careful. Before even attempting to help your snake shed, soak your snake either in warm water or just in a humid hide for as long as possible really to really loosen up that stuck skin. Using a damp q-tip and starting in the direction that shedding would naturally occur in snakes, so in this case beginning at the mouth, which is how snakes normally shed, we're going to use the q-tip to roll up that skin to just get the shed started. And you might have to open the snake's mouth because it needs to shed from the beginning or you're not going to get a very good shed. So just rolling it up and making sure that the q-tip is very damp, especially when it gets to the eyes. I wanted to make sure that the eyes were as damp as possible, which is why I go back for more water right before I do the eyes. Because I was scared, I probably could have just gone all in one and it would have been fine, but I just wanted to make sure there was enough moisture to not damage the eyes. And you just roll it up all in one go. Without tugging or pulling too hard on the skin, it should come off fairly easily. And I know it seems like I'm holding my snake very hard, but I'm really not. I'm holding him quite loosely. He could definitely wiggle his way out if he wanted to, especially you can see here. I'm not even holding him and he's staying very still for me. I like to think he knows that I'm helping him, but who knows. When it gets to the lower part of the head or the body, I like to just kind of let him do the work. I just kind of hold it kind of pretending like I'm some type of rock that he would be normally rubbing himself up against during the shedding process and just have him wiggle his way out of the rest of the shed. And there's his perfect little face. His eye caps are perfect in this piece. It looks great and he did an amazing job letting me help him. Then for the lower jaw, it's pretty much the same situation. You probably will have to open the mouth a little bit more. It is a little bit more difficult in my experience, but it's the same technique. I'd say the hardest part is getting the shed off of the lips when it comes to the bottom jaw. I'm not sure why, but it seems like it gets a little bit more stuck when compared to the top jaw. Plus, Cygnus seems a little bit more wiggly when it comes to the bottom jaw. I'm sure it's very uncomfortable for him, but sometimes we have to do uncomfortable things to help. Once it's past the mouth area, again, it's a breeze. I just let him do all the work, just hold on to it, let him wiggle his way out, and then it's done. And then I just briefly check my entire snake, make sure that I didn't miss any spots. This time I did not miss any spots, but you never know. So I just do one more double check and he was good to go. I hope this video helped somebody help their snake shed or at least make it seem a little bit less scary. You're gonna do great. I hope your snake is okay. And thank you for watching.